In the Transformers movies, we've all been amazed by all the crazy cars with futuristic designs. They can fly through the air, accelerate at breakneck speeds, or even transform into huge battle robots. But all this is just science fiction, right? Perhaps not. Of course, in real life, you're unlikely to see an old car turn into a combat robot, but engineers from leading corporations may surprise you with some of their innovative designs. Sit back and relax. We're about to begin. These are five concepts for transforming cars that you just won't believe. Everyone's gotten stuck in a traffic jam at least once. Moreover, scientists have calculated that the average person wastes 100 hours a year in them. The irritated driver has no choice but to sit in their car for hours on end, perhaps thinking about how great it will be to just fly away from the jam. Meanwhile, without attaching a rocket engine or a propeller to a car, the A2ZFX company from Los Angeles presented a very cool solution. Meet the Hum Rider, a concept car developed on the basis of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Its main and distinguishing feature is the retractable hydraulic wheels that can lift its body to a height of about 3 meters. Just imagine not needing to sigh languidly at yet another traffic jam and simply switching a toggle switch to go, so to speak, to the second story. Imagine the look on the other driver's faces, twisted with amazement. Out of the way, insects! The financier for the Hum Rider car was the American company Verizon, which launched a Hum onboard device to the market, a box connected via the OBD service connector which transfers a huge amount of data about the vehicle to your smartphone. The kit also had a modem with a Wi-Fi access point as well as a Bluetooth speaker. The Jeep itself has undergone many changes before this incarnation. Almost everything had to be taken out of the car, including the steering gears, brakes, wheels, and engine, among others. Instead, they installed wheels that can pull out using hydraulic actuators. The weight of the car after these modifications increased by more than one and a half times, however, so instead of normal car wheels, they had to use the wheels of a truck. Now, if you're already pulling out your credit card, we're sorry to upset you. The car is not yet planned to be launched into mass production. A2ZFX have, for a long time, been specialists in the production of extravagant cars, but so far they've only been used in the filming of commercials or movies. Given the fact that in real life cars stand in dense, uneven rows, and for the Hum Rider to operate over these cars you need to create pretty ideal conditions, do you think that such a transforming car should be sold freely at car dealerships? Well, for the time being, this is not an important question. The Hum Rider has only appeared in a two-minute advertisement. But the prototype of a car which was presented by Audi in conjunction with Airbus and Idle Design would easily pull you out of any traffic jam, or even completely solve the problem of traffic jams once and for all. The companies plan to jointly create giant quadcopters capable of moving people, and even their cars, through the air. Such transportation of the future could open up a new era for the automotive industry and turn it upside down. At first glance, the Audi Pop-Up Next is an ordinary, small two-seater with a somewhat futuristic design. It is a three-component structure, with a section in which passengers are located, a chassis responsible for moving on the ground, and a quadcopter with eight propellers all rotating in different directions. If necessary, it can carry the structure through the air. It's expected that this new type of car, from the combined efforts of Audi, Airbus, and Idle Design, will be completely electric, extremely light, and very economical. It'll also be built in such a way that it won't require a lot of energy when flying. A 49-inch display screen with facial recognition, eye tracking, and voice recognition software will be installed in the cabin, allowing you to control the vehicle with your voice alone. Sounds pretty cool, right? The key principle behind Pop Up Next is that an electric car would be able to fly independently from its original location through the air using a quadcopter. Audi's task is to improve this concept car, making it as close to reality as possible. Specifically, Audi is responsible for the electrical technology, battery technology, as well as developing unmanned control systems. In turn, Airbus is working on the development of the aviation components, whilst Idle Design are responsible for the appearance of the flying car. As conceived by the developers, the driver at any time will be able to change the manner of travel. They will be able to select the manner of travel via voice command. The passenger section would disconnect from the chassis and immediately connect to the arriving quadcopter. And the chassis? It would automatically send itself back to the charging station, awaiting the next journey. 
The specifications are also very impressive. According to its developers, the pop-up Next model will be able to accelerate up to 62 miles per hour or 100 kilometers an hour, and whilst in quadcopter mode, will be able to travel up to 60 miles on a single charge. At the same time, in order to manage this miracle, minimal actions are required from the driver. Before a trip, it's recommended that the driver input directions using a computer, letting the program itself dictate the best means of travel, by land or air. The concept was first presented at the Geneva Motor Show exhibition in 2018. It's still unknown whether the pop-up next concept expects mass production. At least at this stage, Airbus, Idle Design, and Audi are only offering a vision of what urban transport may be like in a few years. But in any case, this shows how limitless human possibilities are, but no need to wait for the future because it's here already. A small mobile flying taxi might interest everyone, but what about a flying truck? This is precisely the kind of development that the engineers at Advanced Tactics are busy with, and if the military are creating it, it's pretty serious, right? Their task was to create a full-fledged quadcopter truck that can fly both horizontally and vertically, would require no manual control, and be sufficiently maneuverable for the military. And so the Black Knight Transformer was born. This new transport resembles a mixture between an ambulance and a truck, revolutionizing evacuations during emergencies. It can take injured or wounded people from a battlefield and instantly place them in onboard surgery. Just think how many lives this vehicle can save. Helicopters, with their ability to take off and land vertically, require small landing sites and often land some distance from where they are actually needed. However, as conceived by its creators, the Black Knight Transformer is able to, after landing, simply drive to its final destination. The Black Knight Transformer is ultimately a streamlined, diesel-powered truck capable of lifting loads of around 1,000 pounds, or 450 kilograms, which is about five adult passengers, with a range of 280 miles, or 450 50 kilometers, reaching speeds of 150 miles per hour, or 241 kilometers per hour. And the specs on the ground are no less cool. The vehicle will move at speeds in excess of 68 miles per hour, or 110 kilometers an hour, carry up to 8 passengers, or 1,600 pounds, or 726 kilograms, of cargo. At present, a fully-fledged prototype is ready, which has successfully passed ground testing. Next in line are air maneuvers. This technology combines elements of a multi-motor helicopter with a car. For flight, a set of rotors are used, similar to those installed on flying quadcopter models. As a result, it's possible to dispense with tail rotors and complex controls and instead use high-speed control with a computerized system. When on the ground, the rotors fold in in order to allow safe movement across the terrain. Only two people are needed to replace the rotor, with the cargo compartment being adaptable to any required tasks. If you're lucky, you might be able to avoid a traffic jam completely, but this doesn't mean that you won't have any problems driving. Most motorists are familiar with the problem of parking spaces, but inventors have tried to solve this problem too. Meet the Hariko, a compact folding car. It's designed to solve parking problems once and for all, because it can even move sideways. This electric car has many positive qualities, such as complete environmental friendliness, noiselessness, and great mobility. But most importantly is its size. The car is 8.2 feet or 2.5 meters long, but when parking can retract its length to only 4.11 feet or 1.5 meters. That's about as long as a regular office table. The idea behind such a useful transforming car came from students at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. It was them who set themselves the task of solving the problem of parking once and for all. Hiriko took their solution and made it into a reality, spending about $20 million to launch it into mass production. And it seems this little machine excels at its main task. When folded, its length is even less than the length of a smart car. An ordinary parking space can fit three Hirikos. The mechanism which provides such compactness is quite simple. It consists of gears which pull the rear wheels under the chassis. For the convenience of parking, robotic wheels allow the car to drive sideways. The doors of such a unique vehicle are also in an unusual place. To exit, you need to raise the windshield. At least you don't have to worry about scratching a door. 
Instead of the usual steering wheel and pedals, the Hariko is equipped with an electronic steering wheel with gear management being carried out using a conventional joystick. True, the performance characteristics of the prototype are not very high compared to modern standards with the maximum speed being only 31 miles per hour or 50 kilometers per hour and a full charge enough for only 74 miles, but despite this, residents of Mega Cities will definitely appreciate the benefits of such a vehicle. Would you like to own a transformable, compact car? The Lane Splitter, however, is a good choice for those who've not yet fully decided what they want, a fast car or a maneuverable motorcycle. The idea was conceived at Fast Company. Why not combine two motorcycles into a fully-fledged car? Project developer Mark Wilson is probably a big fan of the Batman comics. His idea really resembles the famous Batmobile. The idea was taken up by Argo Design, and their prototype is really a car that can at any moment be divided into two fully operational motorcycles. This action can be performed by the simple click of a button. When laid out, the lane splitter has seating for two people, a driver and a passenger. At any moment, you and your tiresome companion can split. Literally. Imagine how surprised your companion would be, especially if you hadn't told them about this hidden feature. As a car, the prototype looks a little strange, but just look at this interesting design as a motorcycle. For greater stability in this mode, the wheels are divided into two sets. It's also worth noting the hubless, sleeveless mechanism, which helps the lane splitter to turn. At the same time, wide wheels ensure firm contact with the ground. In addition, the prototype works entirely on electricity. At the moment, this transforming machine exists as a single prototype, but the developers have always relied on futuristic and unusual designs so perhaps we'll see this model on the road. Now, you know that right now, while you're watching this video, hundreds of cool and even amazing vehicles are being developed all over the world. And perhaps very soon, instead of the usual and boring four-wheel models, we'll see real transforming cars on the road. Powerful, fast, and even flying. Tell us in the comments below which prototype you remember the most. Maybe you've already noticed one yourself and are waiting for it to enter the market as soon as possible. If this video was useful and interesting to you, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss the next video. Don't be stingy and smash that like button. See ya!